In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to manage your various intake requests, triage them in a dedicated project, and then manage and track the status of all your ongoing projects and requests by using some of Asana's more advanced rule functions. So let's get started. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Mark Key. I'm an Asana partner and the CEO of Surface, a systems improvement consultancy that's on a mission to help leaders eliminate workplace burnout by empowering them and their teams to work better together. Now, in this case, we're actually gonna start with a form. And the use case is that team members within a company or an organization are submitting requests to the brand and marketing team. Those requests will then come into this board here and then there'll be a bit of triaging and scoping that will need to be done to assess the the level of uh, resources that will be needed for this project and then when it's time to actually deploy the project and get to planning and building the project we'll show you what that looks like as well using both portfolios and again some other advanced asana features and so let's actually start by submitting our form here so that we can see how to kick off this workflow. So I'm going to open up my form, I'm going to enter my information, and then the department that's submitting it. We are the sales department and we need new decks for our global GTM 2025 campaign. All right, describe the request. And maybe this is my description here. I should switch those around and this one will just be global GTM 2025 campaign. Perfect. Brief description, add as many details as you want to. Priority, I'm going to put this as medium priority right now. And we're going to need new emails. We're going to need a copy for this. And I guess we can say image and event materials. And then if we had any files that we wanted to add as extra context, we could add those here. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit this request here. And as that submits, we're going to see that we can go and then view that request. So now it's come in and you can see that the title that I've given it has been assigned here. And then, you know, it's the department that's actually requesting it. We can see our, our selections here as well. Medium, it's a new request because we're in the new request section, uh, sales here. And then we can see all of our different deliverables that we selected. And of course, as we know, all this information is also in the description here. And so our next step would be to assign it. So let's say that it came in and I was going to be the one triaging this request. Okay. I don't have enough information yet. We don't even have a due date for this project. So we'd have to do a bit of assessment and scope this out a little bit. So we're going to move it into the scoping section like so. And now whatever your workflow looks like, I mean, if we go into this, all we're doing is we're updating these fields to change the scoping, but you can use rules. If we wanted to add a rule here, we could say when it moves to that stage, we can change the assignee to a specific person who is responsible for then scoping as an example. And then we can even go as far as to create a subtask for them that would say something like triage this request and set the project type. All right, so that could be assigned to our new individual for today, and then we can create that rule. So we can do quite a few things here. So when I was talking about the, the project type, this is a, a crucial part in this specific workflow that is needed as a trigger point to set off other actions that are involved in this workflow. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the project type, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna choose project 1a like so and you're going to see what that corresponds to here in a minute now let's actually go to our team so we can see what these different templates look like so in this case type 1a if we go into it is simply a project template that we could choose to add tasks to or not in this case we want to make sure that when this request comes in we're assessing it we're scoping the the size of this project and then we can actually convert that request into a project automatically so we can track the status of all of our ongoing going projects. And so this is a, a workaround for project managers or marketing managers if they need to get vi more visibility. So again, we could update this with whatever we want to, but in, in this example, we're just going to keep it really simple. So that's what type 1A looks like. And then we're going to go down and take a look at type 9Z, just another project option that we can use here as well. And so let's go back to our marketing request project. And so because I've now selected type 1A, when I move this into project created, and we're assuming that we've gone and, you know, did our research, we've, you know, assessed for budget, we've assessed for resources, we've done all of that work, the project is now scoped. Now it's ready to move into production. So we're going to move it into project created, and now it's moving to 
in progress and you'll see in progress has now been updated and our task disappeared now where did it go okay so we actually created a rule at this stage where if you know a certain project type is selected in this case it was type 1a that we're going to convert this project this task sorry into a project and so we're choosing to use a project template okay the template is type 1a the one that i just showed you and it's automatically going to add that project then to what we're calling youtube portfolio all right and then we can add our, our task collaborators as project uh, members as well so i'm going to navigate over to our YouTube portfolio here and you'll see we already have a couple of projects here's another 1a example and here's a 9z example but this is the project we just created now when we go into this here we can then start adding our tasks and so this creates a lot of flexibility because a lot of project managers don't have the time to then go in and create all of the tasks all of the time a lot of the times we hear that these are custom projects and so we don't have the time or we don't have any standards by which we can follow to add the necessary tasks and so then they would take all the information from their scoping and then add in all of their tasks here within this view I may be a bit biased in saying so but if you haven't already done it I highly recommend subscribing to our newsletter all systems go each week we deliver the latest news blog posts and even free resources on Asana and workflow optimization directly to your inbox the best part it's totally free it's the perfect resource you're looking for to improve your system building skills and productivity through process improvements. All Systems Go is designed to be your go-to guide in navigating workflow optimization, especially if you're new to it. Click the link below to subscribe. I'm gonna show you one other thing that I think is helpful. We've deployed this for a few customers. And so if you've been struggling with how to assess this, and this is a great option for you. And the use case here is that we now want to assess time on this because we want to make sure that we have the right amount of resources we want to be able to utilize both the workload feature in the portfolio and our new global capacity feature and if you don't know about the global capacity feature check out a couple videos that i did on that they'll appear right here on the screen go check those out but in this case i'm going to go and i'm going to add in a couple of fields and we're going to add in our time fields here we need them and then i'm going to go in and i'm going to add our percentage allocation as well like like that great now in this case I'm gonna create a new section okay because one of the things that we hear all the time is that there are so many tasks and either myself as a project manager or my team doesn't have the time to go into every single task and add either their estimated time okay or the percentage that they're gonna be on that project throughout that time duration and so this is a, a solve for that it's more or less a, a small workaround okay and so in this case we've created a resourcing section and we're going to go and we're going to add a couple of resourcing uh, options so in this case we'll need a designer we will need a copywriter and then we'll need forgetting all role right now um maybe social email and so on and so what's nice about this option now is we can add our different assignees to this like so that would be responsible for all of these deliverables throughout the project and the project is going to span from the 5th until the 30th of April and now we can assign if percentage allocation if we want to use we can assign our percentages right here like so and then if we go back up to our our portfolio now we can look at our workload assess our effort by percentage allocation there we go and now we can see all of our percentage allocation across the global GTM project in this case and we can see that our designer is assigned 25% throughout that time and in this case our social resource is assigned for 25% of that time and of course we can always go into the task and make those changes and so I hope this was helpful to you obviously this gives us a better view of not only the status of all of our ongoing projects as they come in and triage but then we can also see the global projects here as well and so just to wrap this up here this would in, in essence be a view that we would well, let's just call this master portfolio for right now right and if we did want to get more granular 
let's go back to our template here for a second. If we did want to get more granular, we can have different types of projects based on project manager or the product owner or whatever it may be. And then not only can we have this main master portfolio, but then of course we can have other portfolios that are specific to that project manager. So they can then see all of their own projects, but now we can also see all of the projects across the organization as well. So I hope you found this helpful. If you've got any value from this, I'd love you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification button so that you never miss a new video when they come out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.